Hello, welcome back for another lecture. In this lecture, we're going to talk about how we're going to calculate the uh, tension in a suspension cable and also how we're going to size the cable and what's the weight of the block is going to be and what's the moment at the base of the tower is going to be. So we got this problem here. It's a suspension, similar to suspension bridge, it has 120 kilonewton per meter. Uh, of a distributed load on a deck and is supported by the suspender and we want to find out what's the tension this main cable here. And the requirement, uh, one of the, uh, the criteria is given the uh, allowable working stress uh, for the cable is 600 newton per meter squared and we'd like to find out the uh, bending moment uh, at the base of the tower, uh, weight of the anchor block and size of the cable. Obviously before we do that we have to find out what's the tension on a cable is. Like we talked about last time in the class, please take a look at what I have on the screen here to go over some formula we uh, already discussed. So now we have, uh, uh, we're going to find out the uh, uh, maximum uh, tension in a cable, which is going to be basically uh, uh, by uh, uh, W0. I'm not going to write the formula down, I'm just going to go ahead and put the number down. And that's going to be one thing we got to pay attention right here. But going back on the uh, same picture, the L, L is basically right here. And if you come down right here, that's our L in this formula. So if we have 300 meter, our L basically is going to be 150 meter. And looking at the equation again, it's in W0 time L. And uh, that's going to be uh, 100, W0 is 120 and L is 300 divided by 2 and uh, uh, divide that by uh, uh, multiply by a square root of uh, 1 plus uh, 300 divided by uh, 4 times 30. So uh, and this whole thing is squared and we're going to end up with uh, the answer is going to be 48,466.5 uh, kilonewton. Now when we have that, we know, we learned this from a long time ago in the kindergarten that uh, stress is equal uh, P over A. In this case it's going to be shear max, which we, I mean, uh, uh, tension, maximum tension, divided by the area. Area is pi divided by 4 d squared or pi r squared. So let's use that uh, formula and come back in here. We're going to say, okay, stress, which is came out to be 600 newton per meter square, 600 uh, newton per meter square, and that is equal to uh, 48, uh, 4, 6, 6, 4. 0.5 kilonewton, no, 0.5, and divide that by uh, area, which is pi divided by 4, and d squared, and you can use your calculator to get it working, so your d is going to come out to, uh, um, what I have is 320.7 millimeter. Um, now, when we look at the tower here, if I go ahead and do a, some kind of a, let me take this A and move it a little bit, move it over, put A over here, no, I don't want to put it there, I'll put it later. So I'm going to have a force here, let's call that HY, and I'm going to have force here, let's call it the horizontal force itself. And uh, again, based on what we had on the board, the formula for that is uh, going to be, uh, we found out that H was equal W0 L squared divided by uh, 2 times H, where L being divided by 2. So now we're going to have, um, we had 124 uh, W and L was basically uh, 
150 and 2 times h. h is given as 30 meter, 2 times 30 meter. And what do I have is, see if I got everything right. Forty-five thousand. Forty-five thousand kilo newton. We got that, so that come out to forty-five thousand kilo newton. So um, we're gonna find the uh, electrifying uh, this angle here, angle of alpha, this being beta. So my angle is gonna be uh, right here. Let's call this alpha. And so we're going to go ahead and calculate the alpha. Let me write the formula down. The alpha is equal to uh, uh, tangent inverse. Uh, it's going to be W L divided by H. So it'd be 2H. OK. Uh, in this case, we have. Uh, it be WL divided by H, actually. <coughs> so L is uh, assuming to be the big long L. L is over L over 2 here. Or we can just say uh, alpha is equal tangent of inverse of uh, 120 times 300 divided by uh, 2H, or 150 divided by H. Doesn't matter. Same thing. So 2 times 30. No, two time uh, uh, forty-five thousand. Okay, so that should come out to twenty-one point eight degree. All right, we have found our horizontal force, and we have found our uh, alpha, and let's proceed to find the moment at the base of the tower. So MT came out to be a. Uh, HT and that's time HT or it's uh, uh, same as a uh, oh this make a mess it's same as a TC multiplied by um, cosine alpha minus uh, cosine beta and this is a cosine beta which is forty five and multiply that whole thing by uh, uh, HT. So now I'm going to have the moment going to come out to TC, came out to, uh, what do I have for TC? 48, I believe it was, yeah, 48. 48466.5. And let's multiply that by uh, cosine. Uh, 21.8 minus cosine 45 and multiply the whole thing by uh, HT was uh, this distance was given as 50. I erased it. No, it's right here. It's 50. So that is time 50 meter uh, multiplied by uh, 50. So MT gonna come out to uh, 53 536 actually, and uh, 473,000 point four kilonewton meter. Uh, I need some room, so take a break while I erase this. One, two, three. Now let's find the vertical force at base of the tower, and VT was uh, based on the formula we had. There was TC. Uh, sine of uh, alpha plus sine of beta. And if you plug that in, it's going to come out to, uh, I had it, I have it. The TC came out to 48, 48466.5, 48, multiplied by Sine of uh, 21.8, and that's uh, plus sine of 45, and uh, that should come out to 
kilonewton. Now we have that. All we have to find, so we found the moment already. We found the size of the cable. Let's find out weight of the block is. And the weight of the block is, uh, so the anchor is going to come down here. The tension is going to be the same through here all the way. It's the same tension. The reason this tension is the same here, this height of these two towers are the same thing. So the tension is going to be the same all the way through here. And now because of that, and we can go ahead and uh, uh, we uh, find the vertical component of that force, we can convert them to a, a weight. And that be, so WA is going to become, I uh, wonder we had that on a formula. No, we don't. So that's a, a vertical component, TA time cosine 45. And, uh, yeah. So that was 48466.5. I erased what I had there. Let me look back in here. Uh, that's so basically uh, your TA is this uh, because the tension here is the tension everywhere. So it's same as the TA is the same as the maximum tension. And that's going to be time cosine 45 to find a vertical uh, component of this force here. We're going to have. Uh, Cosine 45, and they're going to come out to uh, uh, 34,271 kilonewton. 34,271 kilonewton, and that can be converted. Now, this is one way we can do that. The other way we can go ahead and solve the same problem over again. We can go look at the free body diagram, and if we divide this, cut this right in half, just like we did in mechanic material. We can cut this in half, and if we cut this in half, uh, I want to make a, just a quick draw here. And this is my tower, and this is that cut it in half. And if I cut it in half right there, um, I'm going to have this horizontal force right here, H, which we already calculated. And then uh, and you have this is a beam A right here, and base of the tower. And we have uh, the bridge deck right here itself. So, and that's basically 150 feet right here. We cut it in half. And the um, concentrator would be in the center right here, which is going to become 150 times uh, 120 divided by uh, 2. It'd be 120 times 150 divided by right at the middle. Now, um, yeah, just go ahead and we can go ahead and uh, we have this force going here and a force going here. It's called this H. This be HY. And that's the same as the H horizontal portion of that. Let's take a moment about point A. Yeah, let's go with the blue. Blue is good. Uh, so summation moment about point A is equal to zero. And we're going to have, uh, let's go counterclockwise positive for now. We're going to have h time uh, this distance right here to this horizontal distance we said is going to be 30 because from here to there is 30. So I'm going to have h time 30. And then I'm going to have right here this uh, uh, constant load for this, which we're going to be 120 time 50 time halfway. So it's going to be uh, minus 120 times 150, and this distance be 75 is equal to zero. So my h is going to come out to. Uh, if you calculate that, your h is going to come out to. I believe 45,000. Let me calculate that. I haven't done this. So I got 120 times 150 times 75. Okay, divided by 30. Yep. 45,000. 45,000 kilonewton. 
And we take a summation f of y, let's find that one, the vertical portion of that, summation f of y equals zero, so all we have is this vertical force and nothing else, and that's gonna be 150 times 120, and maybe uh, going down minus plus hy is equal zero, and my hy gonna come out to 18,000. 18,000 kilonewton, and of course, if you want to figure out the uh, the uh, component uh, uh, of uh, the resultant force, which is at this right here, we're going to go ahead and say our uh, T max, which is going to be resultant force, that's going to be a uh, uh, square root of uh, this force, 18,000 squared plus 45,000 squared, and they're going to come out to... Uh, I have calculated that one, 48466.5 kilonewton, and that's the same as the other step. So from here on, it's basically the same way you can find alpha, we can find, uh, once we have that, you can find the size of your cable, same way. So the, basically, we could do it formula, or we could just go ahead and use uh, uh, this way, the old-fashioned way from here. Okay, that'll take care of that. Uh, well, until next time, be safe, be healthy, take care of yourself.